Um, hi, hi there. Welcome to the second podcast of Fat and Irish. I'm Brent, aka Irish. And I'm fat. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Bow down before me, mortals. Uh, alrighty. Okay, first order of business. Um. Okay. Um, I have the first episode up. Um, uh, like the page that's on, and as of and as of uh, November 26, 2014, 6.06 p.m. Central Time. Uh, A bunch of numbers. Shut up. And uh, we have 25 views and two likes, which is, which is a lot. That's a like, lot than we've ever gotten of anything. <laughs> well, recently. Recently. I mean, that's like... That's a milestone right there. <laughs> well, that's like... Uh, that's like at least ten of our podcasts put together. I mean, not not podcasts. Ten of our vlogs put together. So obviously, people are watching this and you know and, and liking it. I know. I know one of those likes was you because you told me. But the other one, uh, I don't know who that's from. So there's something. Hello. What you talking about? Huh? Do what? What? Shit. Did you hear a word I say? Hello? Yeah, what's up? Alright, love you. Wait, is there someone behind? Is there someone in there? What? No, of course not. I. I heard someone in the background. No, you're just imagining things, right, people? Yeah, he's just imagining <laughs> things. Seriously, you're going to pray me on our second podcast, really? <laughs> there was maybe a phone call. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. My mom, my mom was calling, and I tried to keep it quiet. <laughs> God damn it. I'm sorry, people. What when, when my mom calls, I have to answer because, like, then she won't s- stop. It, it, it wasn't anything important. Important. It's just I had to answer a question, and I'm all good now. I bet it was something stupid. I bet it was something stupid that she would have already known. <laughs> Well, no, it wasn't anything that she needed. It's just she she need wanted to know something that about what my brother wanted or whatever. Anyways, let's not dwell on my stupid this. Oh, As yeah. we were saying, we got a milestone. Yeah, I mean, uh, like I said, that's like five. That's like five or ten of our vlogs put together. So that's something. So and we thank you guys because you guys have made it possible for us to get this many views because it may not be meant much but it's a good start. It's it's quite a step up from what we've been it's doing. It's a step up, step up, step up. Oh God! And, and uh, I really want I really want to take this moment to really thank our subscribers and all everyone who watched our. Who listened really to our our first podcast? Because it actually, I I've been keeping an eye on it, and I thank you guys so much. Uh, so have I. I've, I like uh, I usually like uh, I have it bookmarked, and I usually just like <laughs> look at it like once before, once when I wake up, and another time before I go to bed. I do it while I'm outside doing my garage sale. Yeah. Oh yeah. That, that brings another thing. Uh, where would we? Um, right now it's Wednesday. You well, you, you don't need to tell them what day it is. Well. It's Wednesday, big whoop. It's like, it's not like suddenly the uh, our universe is just going to come crashing well, down. Oh my god, it is! <laughs> well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> well, can I please finish my thought? Maybe. <laughs> god. Okay, I want to get this out of the way. All right, it's Wednesday right now. We're kind of recording it today because um, for those of you who are not in America, um, thir- tomorrow, oh, Thursday, which is going to be Thanksgiving, and both me and Dexter may be busy. Maybe. 
And then, then there's like Black Friday where we, where we just get materialistic bullshit and so on and so forth. So I kind of want to record it now and... Yeah, but I don't think it's really important. Uh, it's not important, record. but it's just like a little side note, I guess. I don't know. I, 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 I mean, I, I get you, but it's just, it's not that important. Because it's like Jack, it's like him recording a video, like, last week and uploading it next week. Well, It doesn't I really mean, matter when, it's just a matter of what day it uploads. Yeah, especially if you follow us Twitter, like, you know what, you know what right then and there and like uh when he had that sore throat it, it uh uh like he recorded videos and uh then like then like three days later uh he, he mentioned the sore throat uh, like when when that recording was shown yeah i think what i think he uh, called it like bulk recording or whatever yeah i i just i i think of it as just planning ahead yeah because we plan ahead because we're smart yeah. Well, I'm just saying that we're just playing ahead right now. Uh, okay. Bitch, uh, you better get excited because I, I am fucking tired and I am pumped. Okay. Do you not see the sign? Your sign. Yes, I told mom. God damn. I told you that sign. <laughs> that was like, Shut you. the fuck up. I, My I, sign I, is perfect. <laughs> I foreseen it. Okay, for those of you, okay, let let me fill you on the rest of these guys. Like a couple minutes before we decided recording, Dexter sent me a sent me a picture of of his little do not disturb type podcast inspection, and I'm like, well, that's not. And I was saying that's that's not gonna work over here, and and it hasn't even been freaking freaking ten minutes, and someone's already violated the sign. <laughs> the sign is so violent. Your sign has Dirty been defiled. <laughs> Your sign has been defiled. <laughs> I need to take it out back and shoot it in the head and burn it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, so, so you people just don't. They either don't read signs or they just don't pay attention to them anymore. No one ever pays attention to fucking signs anymore. People see a stop sign, fuck it, just go through it. Yeah, and then they wonder why... People, people, uh, see, people see a no loitering sign, and it's just they loiter. They loiter. No littering sign, they loiter. No littering sign, litter. Yeah. Signs apparently don't have any fucking rules. Oh. Well, I guess it's kind of like the Matrix, you know, where there is no spoon. I guess right now is there is no signs. There is a spoon. <laughs> yeah. It's up my ass right now. <laughs> I'm saving it for later. <laughs> okay. Alright. I'm guess okay, since we kinda like bullshit for like ten minutes, I guess we could like actually start talking about like something remotely interesting. Well, how about uh for the fact that our phones have anuses? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna bring that up, okay? We're done with it. I'm bringing that up because I've been thinking about it since like twelve in the morning. I ever since you like tweet, ever since you tweet uh, that tweeted, texted me at, uh, to prepare my phone's anus. It got me thinking. I won't put that in the podcast because that's some funny shit, and people need to know the truth that phones have anuses. All right, let's hashtag the white... phone have anuses. Okay, let's all right. Let's uh, let's indulge the world of of phone anuses. I raped Brent's phone's anus a while ago. I sent so many pictures that it just couldn't handle it. Yeah, yeah my my phone is still crying in, uh, from. You gave my phone PTSD from all the <laughs> anal rape. That's the point. And Brent today sends me. Three little pictures. My phone was like, is it in yet? <laughs> Sending three little pictures didn't even break my phone. It just like made it, it, well, it just made it unaware. I, I don't really send that many pictures to the end with, you know. I mean 
that's just me. I just don't see the point of taking pictures for no particular reason, which is why I don't have stuff like Instagram and Snapchat. Speaking of which, I, I, I have of, both. Speaking of which, I I realized that when I was explaining, uh, I, after listening through the first podcast like multiple times, I I realized whenever I was when uh whenever I was talking about the the social media that I have, uh, after I got done with like one, you cut me off rudely. Because that's what I do. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna explain. I make shit interesting. <laughs> you did that on purpose. I know you did. I can never, I, I cannot really confirm or deny that, but I will tell you this: it's fun as hell. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, we both knew that I would make your life interesting. Uh, let's replace interesting with miserable. Then, <laughs> then, then it will be accurate. Okay, so I'm gonna briefly run through uh run through the social media I have just so I can get out of the way. I have Facebook, I don't use it that often. I use Twitter a whole freaking butt ton now. Uh Vine, I use that a lot. Um and that's roughly around that's roughly about it. I don't use I'm like, gonna name all the ones I have. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you're, you're Vine, in the- Snapchat. Twitter. I think I said Twitter. <laughs> you said Twitter twice, like in the last podcast. <laughs> Can someone give me out of this rabbit hole, please? <laughs> I'm sorry. We can't never escape the rabbit hole. I'm taking you down with me. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm sorry if I was laughing too hard. I was also remembering Nazi. God. <laughs> that just fills me. Oh, God. All right. So... For those who don't know who Hatsy is, oh. it's a character that Lyle McDouchebag made on Soul Calibur 5. And that's it's like no... a fucking mentor. It's like a fucking men- mentor. Mon- mentor. 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 Uh, a minotaur, minotaur. That's the name. Minotaur. Yeah. It's like a fucking minotaur with a giant penis. Yeah. And it does a crab walk. Yeah. Let that image sink in. You you talked about that in the last podcast. <laughs> Only day you're talking about different <laughs> shit. Damn it. <laughs> Otherwise, this is just gonna be the exact same freaking podcast. Well, I, I know that I know that I probably talked about it in the last podcast, but I didn't describe it. Yeah, you did. did I? <laughs> you did. I'm working hard. Forgive me if I forget shit. God damn it. All okay, right. okay. This is something we haven't talked about in the last podcast. Okay. Phone anuses. Wait, what? <laughs> Phone anuses. Well, we just talked about that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm just saying we didn't talk about it in the last podcast, so it's something brand new in this one. We're talking about it now. <laughs> <laughs> it's still I will... new. It's still new. I would like an escape rope, please. <laughs> <laughs> As Professor Ogle said, you cannot use that in here. <laughs> you know, that's a very interesting. You know what? That's a very interesting point. How does like every professor in the Pokemon games know exactly where you are? What item you're about to use, and why you can't use it in that particular place and time? I I think I think it's uh, maybe uh, the professors use like an Alakazam or something or whatever psychic Pokemon to relay a message to the kid. That or they have like a satellite tracker on them. That well, yeah, they're probably uh, Professor Oak's probably using that to spy on his mom too. Yeah, I mean, I mean, come on, we all know the professor's pork in the mom. Yeah, that's true. Because I mean, like, literally in the anime, the the mom and Professor Oak, like, practically, I think mostly in the movies, are always together. Uh, yeah, I mean, think about Pokemon Two Thousand for a second. Uh, professor Oak is riding a bike, and he meets up with Ash's mom. Yeah. I'm pretty sure every Pokemon fan has come to that conclusion. Like, I mean, it's a pr- pork in the mom. It's just basic. 
I mean, it's just like, oh, hey, here's a starter Pokemon. Go, uh, uh, go on a, go on a, on a very lengthy journey to catch them all and, and record their entries in the Pokedex. In the meantime, I'm gonna be porking your mom, and you might have a new sibling by the time we get back. It's, it's just like in, uh, Pokemon Abridged. Yeah. <laughs> and then I find it funny, like, I think it was episode 15, where, uh, Ash's mom had a kid, and it was like May or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and then Ash and May are like gonna like have sex or something. Oh man. Yeah, and then she like drank too much tequila or something. One kid's entertainment just makes the best Pokemon bridge. And that's another one. Program. <sighs> For those of you, uh. So that way I don't have to listen to the entire podcast again before uploading. I'm pretty much uh, writing down all the YouTubers we mentioned. Yeah, because we do that a lot. So far we have three. Jack, Septa Guy, Lyle, and, and one kids. Well, yeah, but we've talked about Lyle and Jack in the other podcast. I think Lyle and Jack are going to be on top of this list a lot. Oh, oh yeah, because Jack is our, like, it's he's basically our top YouTuber right now. And Lyle... He's sort of my second, and you're sort of first-ish. Uh, he's competing <clears throat> against Jack for first. Yeah. It, it's like, it, they gotta suck each other off to win the title. <laughs> hey, uh, we don't want to air out my wet dreams right now. <laughs> like, I, I bet some people would be kind of, like, uh, you know what? I bet there's, like, a shit ton of fan fiction just dedicated to male YouTubers sucking each other off. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm not gonna lie. I have, I have thought about making a a a Lyle McJuice Bag X Jack Steps guy. The thought has crossed my mind <coughs> multiple times. <coughs> so, I find yeah. fan fiction really weird. I mean, I get people like to write their own little like stories about people that they love, but it's also like these are real people though. Sometimes, yeah, and, it, 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 it's like. It, it, it's like, do they really, like, think about that type of stuff? Like, I mean, I, I think about a lot of different stuff about different, you know, real people and fake. Yeah. But it's like, to actually write something about it and then publish it online. Well, it's, there's, there's degrees of fanfics. I mean, you got the, you got the, you got your typical ones where it's just like, uh, like a Yaoi couple or a Yuri couple or just a regular uh, shifting couple, uh, those are those take up at least eighty percent of the fanfics out there. Um, but the other twenty percent are like kind of, are kind of like unique what if stories. Like remember that one fanfic that I showed you with uh, um, with Pokemon in the house in the in the oh, house po- world. Oh yeah, Pokey House, yeah. Yeah, I, I thought that was kind of cool, but honestly, I just don't like fan fiction. I don't like people making up uh, stories about awesome things and twisting it, twisting it to their own desire. It's like it's like uh, regular writers of a TV show literally twisting the whole entire show to their own whim and making yeah, it suck. Now, see, that's kind of hypocritical of you because we've done that like twice now. What? Write our own shit. Write our own fanfics. Well, yeah, but they're not technically fanfics. They're just stories that we made. They're somewhat fanfics. Somewhat. I mean, I mean I, yeah, it's a, like it's all fictitious, but it's not like, well, we are fans. God damn it, you're, you're twisting me around. Well, take God for you, for example. Uh, it's, pretty much, it's pretty much Godfather meets Pokemon. We took two concepts and put them together. That's pretty much a fanfic. We're well, yeah, po- we're but, fan Pokemon, and we yeah, but our characters are original. Yeah, our characters are original, but uh, I'm know, talking about still, like uh, some of some of our characters. In is still a fanfic. That's what I, I'm trying I to get. I guess at. I just don't like seeing it as a fanfic because you know we have original characters. It's not like we're spawning like uh, uh, the, the actual Godfather and like uh, like Ash or Misty or Brock. No, we don't do that. I mean, but I'm just saying like. It's fan fiction, like to a degree of like. I'm just like, breaking down like the basic <clears throat> definition because we are fans of the Pokemon games in general. 
And Although you know what's funny, I've never seen the Godfather. We made fiction about it. So in that in that definition, we are fanfic writers. You know. Yeah, in that definition, yeah, I guess. But uh, we we haven't posted it online, so blah. No, I, I have thought about it, but you know, I don't. Wait, think... wait, didn't we? I think we did one. No. Or no, or was that the God Hunter? No, uh, we haven't done any of them yet. I feel like we posted something. I can't no, remember. We didn't. No, we talked wait, about wait, it. Wait, wait, wait! I think I'm missing a nude photo of myself. Did we post that? <laughs> okay. I'm not sure about the new photo. I'm not sure about that one. Oh, but... wait, no, 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 it's fine. I, I, I remember now. I put it in your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> that explains everything. That explains everything. That explains everything now. No, but we have talked about it. I, I was kind of against the idea in the beginning, but eh, I'm actually kind of warming up to it like, once we get it completed. Well, how about this? Uh, for those of uh, you that actually would like to read our shit, uh, put uh, uh, write a comment. <laughs> I, I, I can't speak words today. Yeah, uh, write a comment or put like... Or... Either write a comment or tweet us. I mean... Yeah, yeah. tweet us or uh, write, in the co- uh, write a comment in the comment section. And we will, we will definitely see the stuff because we have no lives, and we'll, and we check the shit like almost daily. Yeah, I, I check, I check my Twitter at least like five, ten times a day. Uh, I, I just check it whenever I get like a notification. Well, I mean, what I mean, I, I get notifications on my iPod and on my phone, and so it's like I got everything covered. I mean, I check it every now and again, but you know, I mean, I mean, ten times a day is kind of an exaggeration. Uh, but in reality, I, I lose track. <clears throat> yeah, I do. I, I do too, sort of, because uh, I, w- when I'm out there doing my garage show, I check Facebook more than my Twitter. Yeah, just, I, I think I'm a little bit obsessed with Facebook. Uh, but I, I love Twitter. Don't get me wrong. But it's just like it, it's hard to see every single tweet for ev- every single second. Facebook has become like a like. This incoherent noise for me now. I like Facebook. But I also like Twitter, and I also like all my other stuff. But you know what? I have not used my Snapchat ever since that, ever since Amanda. And, yeah, I'm going to some personal shit right here, so fuck all y'all. I don't even know who Amanda is, so you, know, uh, you guys are lost as, as well as I am. Uh, Amanda is this girl uh, I kind of met online, and... Uh, uh, we we were friends for the beginning. Oh, was that the like the crazy sadistic bitch? No, I think you're thinking of Adrian. Oh yeah, I was. Oh yeah, I am thinking of Adrian. <laughs> so, they're all so simil- similar. They <laughs> they all just blend in. I, I, I've been your I've been your friend for so long that they just like they they're all in one group. They're. Uh, I always classify them as like some bitch Robert wanted to get in their pants. That's that's all I can classify them as. It's just some bitch that Robert liked at a time, you know. Yeah, although I've only had, uh, I think some of the girl, my girlfriends that I've actually slept with, was like about maybe two, I think. Yeah. Out of all mine, I think I only slept with two. I don't want to, uh, I really don't want to go into, I'm, We're you going can... down the rabbit hole! Help me here! <laughs> <laughs> I'm on team! Okay, you can air out your personal crap, I'm, I'm not, because, you well, know. I, I don't want to air out too much, uh, it's just like, it, 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 it's just, it, it's just a topic that decided to come up but yeah uh, I, I don't use snapchat a whole lot anymore because i only used it with uh, amanda but ever since she stopped talking to me uh after after like a week we were dating i've not heard from a, a, from her since uh i i barely use snapchat anymore riveting story i know right okay um it yeah. had bitches it had crazy bitches it had snapchat 
That's sex. All we needed was a murder, and we got a good story. Uh, I can, I can, I can help out with the murder. It might be you, but <laughs> just, just throwing it out there. All right. But I, 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 I do want to say one more thing. Uh, for everyone who actually like listens all the way through of these videos, I really appreciate it because, uh, it, you know, it, it's just fun to you know entertain people in some type of way. Yeah, we're not doing like actual videos at the moment, but you know, we're doing something. Yeah, I can I can I kind of want to do something where like this, where this channel just doesn't like. Get dust, get dust on it while while we're trying to to move in for the reboot. I mean, I do want some stuff on there. I just don't want it to be like this dead channel that's just taking up space. I mean, I do want some stuff to happen on it, you know. Well, yeah, but I mean, we're you know we we started with the vlogs and now we're you know doing the podcast. Soon later, we'll start coming out with you know the content and the reviews. Yeah, so. Uh, we're doing. Yeah. Oh, and also for all the new uh, subscribers, I don't know if we even have new subscribers. I'm actually checking out right now. I haven't checked. Uh, uh, well, yeah, I need to check that. But uh, I'm checking that right now. Uh, but for those new subscribers and viewers in our audience, our old and new, and everyone, everyone, you have may have noticed we changed up the shit really good. Yeah, we talked about it like in the first episode. And while the first episode was loading, uh, we we changed some stuff around. All silly like, I went to town on the pictures. I created all that you see, yeah. and it's just gonna get better from here on. Cause I am going to do more. I'm gonna try to make this channel as pretty and badass as I can. Yep. Yeah, we still have only 43 subscribers. But please, if you do like these podcasts, hit that like button and subscribe, too, because we're posting these shit out. Okay, I'm surprised you didn't do the other thing. I know, I really wanted to. <laughs> but Jack would be mad at me. Yeah, he doesn't like non-bosses taking his stuff. Non-boss? Have... No, you're not. <laughs> Fatty sad now. <laughs> hey, I'm hey. If it makes you any better, I'm not boss either. Hey, you're plenty boss. We're both boss. Mm. We we all. Whenever Jack asks for our bossness, we give it to him. Yeah, but we have like little. As humans, we were born with like a small amount of bossness. Jack is a bossatronian. He has like <laughs> he has like bossness power levels of over nine thousand. Yeah, he he he's gone. He's gone like past Super Saiyan four. Yeah, he's not like he's not like Super Saiyan Z ten. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking more like Super Saiyan God because that's a thing. Really, that's a thing. Yeah, because uh, that that um, Battle of Z movie came out. Yeah, I, you know what? I almost bought that. I oh, literally really? almost bought it. But then I bought Yu-Gi-Oh cards instead. Yeah. Hey, hey, it's, it, it was the legendary 5Ds club. And I had to get it. Okay, we kind of see how what goes on top of your priority. Yeah, yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh is always priority. You know that? Ah, uh, okay. So I mean, it's it, it, it's like it's like below muffin. Muffins are like number one priority right there, and then it's like Yu-Gi-Oh. Pokemon, you. Because you don't need me. You I... barely, you barely need me, and it hurts. Yeah, I do. When I kill someone, I need someone to help me dispose of the body. Yeah, but it's like you, you never truly need me. I mean, even when we're playing Pokemon and shit, I ask, hey, dude, you need me to check my bullshit? You're like, nah, I'm just going to check Bulbapedia. That hurts! Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, you're not even denying it. No, because it's true. I have, I have all 
of it, well, except for the original second generation strategy books. But I have every single strategy guide book of Pokemon practically made. I have red, blue, yellow. Uh, I have uh, soul, silver, and heart gold. I have ruby and sapphire. I have uh, what's the fourth generation? Diamond and pearl. Diamond and pearl. And I have Pokemon Black and White, and I have Pokemon X and Y. Now that, my friends, is a collection. Yeah. I own that shit. I rarely use it. <laughs> use him. I, I, to be fair, I did use you a lot when I, uh, when I first played uh, Ruby. Yeah. Like the first uh, couple that, of times, but then. That was a fun time. But then, like. After like my third, after like my second or third run, I was, I didn't, I kind of know, I kind of knew where everything was, and I really didn't need you at that point. So yeah, I, so yeah, my my book was crying, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, what has two thumbs and does he get a crap? <laughs> Prince or Nesco? <laughs> But I have so so I I love collecting books, people. I love collecting books. Uh, I have so many goddamn books. I have a lot of Pokemon Trading Guys books. I have a lot of regular books. I have books, books, books. Too bad you're not gonna be using that training guide for for a hell of a lot. The what? You said you have a training guide, right? Which training guide? You said you had a Pokemon training guide. Or at least that's what I thought I heard you said. I don't I don't know what a training guide is. Yep, because you're a breeder, you don't know how to train. <laughs> you don't even know lift. <laughs> <laughs> hey hey, breeders do not train. Breeders breed. Exactly. If you're a breeder like me, like that like button. <laughs> Hit that like button. I wanna know all my other breeders out there. Uh, well, I Breeders say, unite! Why don't you just have them like your like your uh, like follow you on Twitter? Oh, yeah. That would make more sense. Yeah, follow me on Twitter if you're a breeder, because I breed. I love breed. Although, because I don't have a fair way of because I don't have a fair way of of judging who's who's a trainer. Because what am I gonna say? Hit the dislike button if you're a trainer. Then we we'll get a whole bunch of dislikes. <laughs> Actually, you know what? They really should make like like a third button to be like a middle one. Like there's like a, like, a mad this, button. Yeah, like a like, a dislike, and a mad. <laughs> the mad is like a little. No wait, no wait. The little mad is like uh, it's like a sideways thumb that's yellow. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be that's awesome. Perfect. That'd be that'd be perfect. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like you should like, get on that. It's kind of like it's kind of like uh kind of like uh those uh uh like see like what Caesar did he kind of had like his thumb uh his thumb sideways and and if you like point it down uh that would execute him and if you point it up they he they get spared or something yeah we're getting his historian on this nigga <laughs> oh wait course. did I just say the n word oh shit <laughs> you're, oh my god you're white you gotta run. <laughs> We got a wigger in here. Wigger <laughs> alert. Wigger alert. Everybody run. I'm sorry. Oh. I, I, I honestly though, I, I think it gives me a little bit of credit because I have, I have, I have black family. Lord. I have I, like, I, I, have, I have permission, I think. I don't know. And plus I have, I have like black friends that. Oh, but I have... don't. I also. I don't think that word is as bad as it was when it was like kind of said. I mean, I, after all the years, I, I I think the black community, the black community, actually brought that to like it, it really lost its power. Yeah, I do agree that that. I mean, is... I, I, one thing that kind of pisses me off though is that if a white guy says it now, it's still considered racist. I, I know, even if I said it, like, even if I said it kind of like how you said it not too long ago, I still get my ass kicked. I mean, I, I, if, if black people, you know, took it back and, like, you know, the made it their own. The white, it. Yeah. I mean, it has no power anymore, really. 
You know, I mean, you kind of took the I title. I mean, it's like it's like calling a white guy a cracker. I mean, that really yeah. doesn't sound. Yeah, like or a honky or anything. I mean, we don't. No, you know. It, I mean, plus I I, I don't think I, I don't hate black people. I have black I have black family and I have black friends. I mean, I love black people. I love all people. Well, except people who are stupid and idiots and. Really He's racist against stu- stupidity. You better yeah <laughs> call somebody. Wait, 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 wait. What was it like? R- Randall said like a lot of slur words in Clerks too. Uh huh. And, and, and what what was the, some of the Irish ones? Irish ones. Uh, yeah. Mick is a popular one. Uh, that's that's the one. That's the one that comes. Oh, wait, no, no, didn't he say, like, something about a sheeny curse or something? Yeah, that's Jews. Uh, oh, no, that was, that was that Jews, or was that Irish? That's Jews. Uh, we don't... It, it sounds How? Irish to me. How? Okay, we're going to avoid this, because if I go... We're going to talk about this later. <laughs> we're going to talk oh, about I'm this. Just, I'm just trying to remember what he said is all. That's and, Jews. Like... I'm not Jewish. No Irish person is Jewish. <laughs> Jesus. Well, if I offended any Jews, I'm sorry. I don't really actually know any Jews. I I, I know like it's kind of weird. My my friend circle is like very limited to like white people, black people, and like I don't. I think I've like one Asian friend. Uh. uh I I've like very uh, like. Very limited. Amount of uh, I got. Um, I love how we just went from talking about like Pokemon shit to like racism. Well, we kind of well we kind of warned everybody in the last podcast, so you know, <laughs> you know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> this thing, because I remember in the last podcast, you like we'll we'll be talking about Pokemon for one minute, we'll go to breastfeeding. Well, now we're going. We went from Pokemon to racism. <laughs> So pretty much, we kind of foreseen this happening, and that was like three days ago. But uh, it's just it's just driving me crazy of what Randall said because I'm just trying to remember, like what 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 which things was like really bad. Because it's, it's not like I I want to remember them to use them. It's just I want to remember them to kind of just like put uh, in context. Yeah, I, I think we should just kind of like. I think we pissed off enough people as is. I think we should like go into another subject. I just want to say, if you're still listening, uh, even we're after not all racist, that, by the way. We're not racist. We we love people of every color and every well, species. Well, he does. I just he hates everyone equally. I hate everybody equally. I, you know. But you know you, what? What really? You can't you call know? me racist if I hate <laughs> the next race as much as the other. Yeah. And I don't hate you because you're that particular <clears throat> race. I just hate you because you're humans. Yeah. Well, and plus, don't forget the centaurs. <laughs> God! <laughs> Can we please get off of these centaurs. <laughs> I think they have a new freaking fear now. And I, <laughs> and I indeliberately caused it. <laughs> So I'm sorry for that, and and at the same time I'm not. Well, no, it's not. I'm not talking about minotaur. I'm talking about centaur. Whatever. A centaur is half human, half horse. I don't give a crap. Let's talk <laughs> about something else. Well, mythology is fun, though, and I love mythology. But yeah, let's talk about something else. Okay. Um. See, yeah. See, now we lost our train of thought. <laughs> Dude, if we if we stop to actually try to come up with something to talk about, we fuck it up. Okay, let's just okay. Dude, I guess well, all we have to do is just lead with one thing to another. That's how. That's what makes this podcast awesome. Oh, um, you know what? I might as well tell everybody now. Um, uh, audience, I have a secret. I am a. He's leprechaun. not actually Irish. I'm a leprechaun. <laughs> That's true. He told his friends today. I I, I I tried to warn them, but no, no one ever listened. It, it's 
I had to come out of the magic. I had to come out of the pot of gold eventually. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like my euphemism? Oh man! It's well, like a, it's, it's like it's like uh, who was it? Uh, it was Tom, Tom Cruise is like he was trapped in the closet. R. Kelly was trapped in the closet. <laughs> yeah, and John Travolta. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> sure. Yeah, so I can't. No, no, not out of the pot of gold. I came out of the out of the end of the rainbow. That, that's probably the more accurate term. Anyway. Well, I, I thought you shit rainbows. <laughs> okay. See, see, uh, what, what I thought was leprechauns, they, when they shit rainbows, it like, then they, it launches them across the sky all the way to the end of the rainbow to get the pot of gold. That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> you racist son of a bitch. <laughs> God, that's inappropriate. God, what? I mean, it's a it's a fair theory. Okay. Anyway, let me... I, think about it like this: How do leprechauns get to the end of the rainbow to get their popcorn? We fucking we have Irish magic. We get there by magic. Yeah, but if you have Irish magic, then why can't you just summon your pot of gold? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> because if we summon Fanny we... one, Irish man zero. Because maybe we like to keep our our uh, our gold hidden, so that way you know, I don't know. <laughs> See, I, I have one logical mother. I don't know. It's it, it's a leprechaun secret. Uh, you well, have to be. Uh, yeah, you have to be a, I, I'm you have to be you, a high so leprechaun. I know all your secrets. You, you have to be a high leprechaun to know. Yeah, but I caught you, didn't I? <laughs> okay. Anyway, let me tell you guys the backstory of why I'm a leprechaun. Okay, so a couple of days ago, uh, two guys walked up to me uh, in my welding class. They were like, "Hey, hey, Corden, you know, you know what I'm gonna give you for Christmas?" I'm like, "What?" A beard trimmer because you look like a leprechaun, and then, and then suddenly, I just it just clicked in my head, and I go, "Tiddy potatoes, there, uh, quick, Pappy, hide, hide the gold, hide the Guinness, and hide the lucky John, now to us." And then I freaking <laughs> run away, <laughs> and then and then while I run, I I jump and I click my heels together. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell me that part. <laughs> I, I wanted to leave that part specifically for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! I, I told him he should. He should really start recording more shit more. I I co- I couldn't because uh, I knew that was gonna be longer than six minutes, so I couldn't do one online. Yeah. Oh god! So anyway, yeah. But that's that, that, that's a, that's just a great story though. Yeah. Oh oh, and then the rest of the day, I would like just pop into somebody's booth and guilt and accuse them of stealing something. <laughs> yeah, like you told me, like you accuse someone of stealing your gold, your Guinness. Yeah. I don't I don't know if any if you accuse anyone of taking your uh, lucky what? charm. Uh, I was about to accuse newbie. Ah. Uh-huh. I told I told my pipe teacher last night that uh, about that story. He laughed. He was kind of having a crap day because he had to like drive all the way out from Conroe, uh, to uh to teach, and he was like, and and they, like, like it was part of their like Thanksgiving vacation with his family. So I know he felt kind of bad. So I know he he was probably in a shit mood. So I told him that story and it cheered him up. So that made me a little, you know, that that, kind that of, made you look like a decent human being. That I mean, it, it's part of the appearance. I mean. I have to pretend to be, uh, to be a civil human being. I mean, yeah, just... or, or else everyone will catch on that you're not exactly who you say you are. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we leprechauns are supposed to like blend in into our surroundings because if they find out that we're actually leprechauns, they're gonna want us for our gold. Yeah, yeah but you know, I I, I, <clears throat> I get I get something better than gold every single day. God. I, I, okay. You want to ask, don't you? I want to ask, but I know the answer, <laughs> but I'm, okay, what is it? A dick in the ass! See, I knew that was coming. 
God damn it, I'm not original anymore. <laughs> oh, you're just predictable as shit. Well, sometimes I can... Well, you know what? I think the only reason why I'm predictable is because you hate surprises. Kinda. So you, you don't let me get to surprise you anymore, or else you get kind of pissed off. I I, I really don't want any surprises. Like, you know what's the last surprise I had? Uh, a dick in your mouth? No. Well, kinda. No, but the, I mean, a surprise that I didn't like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, a shot in your mouth. I like that too. <laughs> no, when no, whenever my no, whenever my girlfriend from two years ago broke up with me because I because I killed her in a dream. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I'm like seriously. I I still don't get what the fuck it was up with that. I mean, it was just a dream. You you know I, I, I she she really over exaggerated. You you know the more I thought about it, okay so. Oh, uh, hear me out. Dreams are pretty much like a representation of your of your subconscious, right? Oh yeah. Uh, generally speaking. So if I killed her in a dream, she must have done something that 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 one that she must have done something so bad that dream me killed her for it. Yeah, but what exactly did she do though? What was her crime? Uh, my theory is she probably cheated on me. Well, yeah, but she kind of. Sort of did that anyways, I think. Kinda. I mean... Um, she was a bitch. Anyway. Yeah, she was a bitch. I mean, we're not gonna... I'm not gonna drop any names like you did. Well, like, yeah, but... Uh, just for not, the it's not, it's not like people are gonna, like, immediately search up a, a, a girl named, like, Adrian and then suddenly just find her. I mean, there's a shit ton of Adrian. Well... It's not like I said her full name, which is... We're not gonna say that. <laughs> exactly. I don't want I don't want people getting doxxed. Uh, for those of you you who don't know, doxing is pretty much where where a troll like will like look up your your information and will get your IP address, your real name, your your address, your living address, like all your personal information and like put and like post it online. Yeah. I don't think honestly the one thing that scares me the most about this world is is that we are never safe. Like, literally, uh, we could have such encrypted shit, yet people can still get past it. Oh, did you ever watch that link that I, t- that I tweeted, like, a few days ago? Uh, what was it? It was pretty much, uh, it was pretty much, uh, a guy who reviewed a, uh, a video that kind of talked about trolls, and he was talking, like, there's really no difference between a troll and a cyber and a cyber bully. Well, there is kind of like an inkling of a dis of a difference, like, uh, like uh, one well, is. Well, I think trolls like trolls, uh, trolls troll everyone, while bullies focus on one person. To me, to me and him, there's really not much of a difference because to me, a troll is kind of like it's kind of like the first high you get, like messing with someone on the internet. And then, and then, like, and then, if it goes unchecked, it upgrades to cyberbullying, where it's like they torment this one individual so much that they cause them to commit suicide. Yeah, you know, that's that's one thing I sort of don't understand. To me, is to, to me, there's not much of a difference. <clears throat> cyberbullying is one thing I don't fully understand because if you're being bullied online, you can literally. Turn off the laptop. Yeah, or you can computer. Just, yeah, you can just like not. You can block. You can block that person. You can I mean, just, you can I, just I, not unless, go on unless the it's the, like if they bully you online as well as in the real world, then yeah, I mean it's kind of fucked up. But if they're just doing it online, you have the choice of just turning off your laptop and your computer. There are spam. There. Uh, if you don't want to turn off your computer, there there are like spam and block options on almost every website. Well, YouTube yeah, but it, uh, people Facebook can get around. It, Twitter those. has it. People can get around those though. Yeah, but at least it'll keep them at bay. Well, yeah, but if you want a more permanent solution, just turn it all off. Honestly. Well, yeah. Uh, I mean, there's it, really it, not, there's really not like a permanent permanent solution because there's like. It's kind of a new problem. I mean, I remember when I was in high school, 
I only heard maybe a couple stories about it. Like uh, someone did kill themselves over over a cyberbully, but that was like. But that was like my junior senior year. That's when it like, that's when it it first started to become known to the public. For yeah. all we know, it's been happening for years in in the media. Just now got a hold of it not too long ago. Yeah, I mean, I I actually I think I was bullied, I think once in in elementary school, uh, for a reason I'm gonna I'm not gonna say because it's very stupid and very uh, inappropriate I would say. But anyways, uh, I was bullied in uh, elementary school, which is why I moved to Desert Heights Charter School. I switched schools. Uh, did you tell me this off screen uh, before? Because I don't kind of I don't well, really remember. I don't think I've actually told you all of it. I I, I did tell you that I went from. I did tell you I went from like Park Park Ridge to Desert Heights. Yeah, well, well uh, yeah, uh, I don't want to let you that out on the podcast. Uh, huh? Yeah, I've been I've been bullied myself. I mean, I did something stupid. Uh, I did something stupid myself and got bullied for it. And you know, it it's just it's just the natural order of things. To be honest with you, I mean. Yeah, I, I mean, I, for some people, it's a little bit worse than what we had, but uh, I, I think don't. I think the only real way to get rid of bullying is not really run away from it, but to face it honestly. Yeah, I mean, case, I, I, I case... chose I chose the run run away option, of course, but uh, th- that was pretty easier to do because I just switched schools. And plus, I, I it was actually a lot better because I went to an awesome school where I had a lot of friends. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it does get to that point. I mean, for me, I I didn't really have that option. <laughs> yeah. You, uh, I mean, I didn't really like. I didn't like run away, and I didn't like straight out like fuck the dude or anything. I just kind of like, you know. Well, I don't. I don't think this violence is necessarily uh, the the one thing uh, to do. I, I think it's more of just knowing that they can't push you around anymore. You know, just standing strong and showing them that you're not afraid. Yeah. No matter what they do to you, you're still there. You're still strong. What, what I did was just like just just stared at them and said nothing. That's what I did. No, oh, yeah, there's also the creep factor where you could just kind of like just stare at them for nonchalant, like nonchalantly, and just. I just like, stared. I just stared at them, and it was like, it's like, what? You're not gonna say anything? I'm like, nah. and it's just like not, and I just like shake my head no, and they kind of just like, alrighty. It, See, it's kind, it's kind of like the equivalent. It of, ruins the of, fun for them. Yeah, it's like it's like the equivalent of uh, like going into fetal position when you're being attacked by a bear. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, it's not, it, I mean, it's just not fun for them. I mean, when they're, you just stare at them and don't say anything. I mean, you're not it, reacting. You're not doing... You're, you're, <clears throat> most, knows, bullies, most bullies do it because they like to see your reactions, pretty much. Well, some bullies, but some bullies, uh, they're, they're more like they have bad home life. Yeah. So they usually try to take it out on other people. Yeah, I know that's... Yeah, I know that's common, like... It's not like it's at all bullies, but it's like it's mostly common. And that that's like the most common thing. At like, other times, it's just people are dicks. Pretty much, that's kind of that's pretty much, yeah. I mean, if 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 a bully is like pushing you around, I mean, you you have the option to either just face it or run away but if you run away it's not really going to solve much problems but if you face it you know then nine times out of ten you know they will stop bothering you yeah although you know, granted i chose the run away option but you know it, it was a little bit it, it wasn't as much as physical bullying but more emotionally yeah i mean it was kind of like more emotional and uh, uh but I, think, I think emotional bullying I think there's an easier way to get out of that because uh, for for me, uh, I, I ever since I've been on the internet, I, I I've been bullied, maybe not like bully bullied, but like I, I've been like kind of like pushed around 
sort of figuratively. And uh, I, I, I honestly, I would just either laugh it off or just go with the flow. Yeah. I mean, if you if you don't give them a, a, any power to do anything to you, then they're just gonna leave you alone. Yeah. I mean, there is real no true reason, uh, not reason, but real way to uh, handle a bully. But there are some options that you can do to, you know, get them off your back. Some people say fight. Some people say don't do anything. Some people say run away. It's all really, it's all really based on like the scenario. Like if you're getting pushed around by like a physical bully, you have the option of uh, either running away. Or just taking the beating and mm-hmm. and just like fight back. Of course. Uh, and then with an emotional bully that you know, like with words, uh, the way you can do that is either just not listen or just show them that it doesn't bother you. Yeah. It, it, yeah. There's like multiple types of bullies, so you know, like. And, it, but cy- cyberbullying, I, I think that's just the easiest to get away from. I mean, because all you have to do is literally just turn off your whole entire laptop and computer and just not use it. Well, that's kind of another issue with cyberbullying because it's kind of like you're just ignoring the problem. You're not really addressing it. All you're doing is just well, putting yeah, your head but, in the I mean, sand. But with the internet being able to do anonymous shit, you know, they ha- the, bullying, the bullies will have more power to over control of your whole entire thing. Anime, uh, anonymity is not is more or less alcohol. It it doesn't it doesn't drive you to do something that you would normally do. It just pretty much takes away the inhibitions. Actually, that's more like just wearing a mask. Pretty much, you're just. I mean, I, I, if I recall, there's like this philosophy or something about where like I forget who it's by, but like the person said, uh, give a guy a mask and he'll reveal his true self. Pretty much. I mean, honestly, if you if you were given a mask, and you were able to do, I mean, that's why most movies and shit, uh, like in like you know really bad ser- scenarios, they have masks because they get to do whatever they fucking want without like, having, like, they can still have their privacy. Like you're next. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, you're next. Uh, did we watch that? Yeah, we did. Oh, okay. Where. But, <laughs> where like uh, where like they hire like these three dudes in masks, but like a, a couple of the family members were actually behind it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no. I'm sorry we spoiled the movie, but you know if it, it's like it was like. Oh well, yeah, but we, they don't know which family members. Yeah, I think I think yeah. Also, I think uh, I think we've been on here for an hour. Uh, getting close. We're we we got three minutes left. Yeah. Uh, uh but I I just want to say that uh, I I think uh, like you know some of those like movies or something where they have like those very powerful people that were like wearing masks and they like treat like these people like a male or a female really badly. Yeah. I I've seen a lot of that. Like it's just powerful people in masks being able to do whatever they want. Yeah. And I, I just find that really weird. Hmm. Well, I think I'm winding down. Yeah, okay. We got two minutes left, so we might as well uh, say our goodbyes and end and this. But thank you guys for listening to this podcast. I'm sorry if it, if it is like an hour long. Uh, but uh, we... We, me and me and Brent, we really get into talking, and we really hope that we, uh, that you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, please leave a comment and uh, please like this video. Uh, you know, tweet us at, on our twits, on our tweeters, <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> and just have an awesome, fantastic day. Yeah, uh, same, same uh, goes for me. Uh, I'm I'm kind of sorry that we kind of got into like some serious like depressing crap, but you know we can't all be smiles and sunshine. Sometimes we do have to take on serious issues like this, you know. Yeah, and uh, also please leave your leave your opinions in the comments too. You know about anything that we said. 
yeah, leave your opinions on either the comments or on our Twitters, you know. We we really want to hear from you guys. I mean, yeah, we, seriously, we if you if you made it to this point of the video, I think you and, so much. Yeah, I'm so sorry, it, it's so long. If you made it this far in the in the in the podcast without um uh, without like having to take a break, uh give yourself a cookie or or a snack of your choosing because you earned it. Yeah. Uh, with that said, I am Peace out. Yeah, peace out and but let me find the thing. Uh and we'll see you next podcast. Bye.